Readers, this is Tara here with Kootenai Mercantile. You wouldn't believe what I happened today. Uh, Maddie and I decided we were going to go hit some garage sales this morning. And well, we didn't find anything at the garage sales, but we found an auction today. If you take a look, this is what we scored today for $160. I'll get into the divots right now. A Roosevelt Pottery Apple Blossom Green Jardinier value of $95. Roosevelt Pottery Blue Freesia Jardinier value of $100. Uranium Glass, I think I gotta do the glow test on it after. Uh, citrus Juicer, probably a value at about $30. Bucks. Uh, Caitlin wanted to get into the selling business as well. So she picked out this Noritake uh, bowl and we figured out to have a value of $25. A Fenton blue hobnail vase, probably around $15. Uh, Fenton again. Uh, silver crest white milk glass with a ruffled edge little bowl value probably between 30 and 40 dollars uh, Another Fenton I believe Maybe if it is it's a little kind of bud vase probably about 20 or 30 dollars Madeline uh, picked out the Stife Owl uh, He's worth about $50. Thanks, Mandy Kennett, for helping with that one. Uh, <laughs> we've got ourselves an antique Western stoneware two-gallon whiskey moonshine jug. Probably can get about 80 for this one. Uh, we've got here a Murano angelfish. Uh, we can get about 115 for that. Uh, an Eller vase. A little bit more research is needed, but we can get about 60 for this one. Uh, I've got over here some Kaiser West Germany. Um, hang on here, I've got to find it. West Germany uh, Olivia bowls and a big bowl. I'm going to part those out for probably about $10 a piece. The bowl may be 15 Then over here, you want to come over here, Maddie? This set right here, that is all Nippon hand-painted pansy set. We've got a big plate, smaller plates, a bowl, milk container, a sugar container, and a teapot and it looks like I can get around 200 for that Back up. Um, some unknown Japanese vase value to, to be determined uh, over here I've got a you possibly got to do the glow test a uranium glass perfume bottle um, I've got a blue crystal perfume bottle, another crystal perfume bottle, and another perfume bottle. I have research to do on those as well. Um, an unknown West Germany cup. Still, I got to do some research on that. If any of you guys know a value, let me know. Um, <clears throat> a pinwheel crystal ashtray. I can get about 15 for that. Um, six little cordial glasses, some kind of crystal, they're cute. I'm gonna go probably 10 to $15 for the set of six. Uh, I've got some unknown hand-carved wooden figures. Price to be determined. I gotta do some research on these unless you guys know something I don't. Now the coolest thing that we found at the auction today, uh, it's part of Caitlin's 
collection is some lithopane teacups. And what that means is we took a look at them and if you look closely, you can see a geisha. Can you get that? Did that mm, work? The lighting's not even. Oh, perfect. There. See, if you look in there, you'll see the geisha that's done inside the cup. We got two of those. Uh, probably not going to sell them. Just because they're really cool and we kind of like to collect, keep some of our treasures. Uh, and then we have, what do we have here? The lithopane glasses. Uh, Noritake teacup, probably maybe $10 for it. It doesn't have anything exciting in the bottom except for the Noritake markings. Um, a Marui porcelain budgie. We can get about $20 for this one. Behind it, we have a Beswick England parrot, number 930. And we can get about 60 for him. Uh, we've got some Goebel figurines. Goebel is the company that made your Hummel figurines and stuff like that. Uh, we have some Janet Robson Rob figurines. Uh, the first one is called Flight into Egypt. And we can get $49.99 for that one. Uh, the Joseph figurine. Is worth about $35 and then we've got this unknown global figurine I'm not sure if it's the Madonna or I don't know if you guys recognize it feel free to fire me off a message okay some unknown duck no markings on the bottom or anything they're Special. I don't know if I'm going to keep them. Sometimes it just hits the donate pile. Um, a blue cut gris crystal ashtray. Maybe $10 to $15 for that. Uh, Royal Darton, Dalton Carmina Pitcher. You get about $15 for that. Okay. Now over here, let me grab them. I've also come across two shadow figurine, figure petty point pictures. You get? And they're worth about $30 each and the shipping will be a breeze. Um, I got a couple of unknown landscape prints I got to do some research on. That's the first one. And that's the second one. Uh, 1981 Pewter Rhodes Studios plate. Uh, it is, it's 1989, sorry. And it's called the American Standard 440 by Daniel Stapleford. This is part of one of those lots again, but it's worth about $20. Uh, I got a little glass dish here. Might be able to get 10 bucks for it maybe more i got a little more research for that one and it's twin a bigger glass dish which i'm thinking maybe 15 for it um i've got some metal door plates these are really interesting i've got two larger ones and a bunch of smaller ones I'll probably get maybe $10 to $15 a piece for those. Um, I've got a vintage lithograph here. Uh, need some research. Probably about $10 to $15 on that. Uh, and I got this one as well. Not sure. Could end up in the donate pile. Now over here... These are, I don't know if I'm going to sell them. There's just some things you got to keep. So I've got myself an Asian 
I'm not sure if it's Chinese or Japanese silk embroidered seam. I have some research I have to do on that. I know I belong to a couple of Asian art uh, groups. And the last one is uh, called Society in the Park. And it's a tapestry. And it's worth about $90, maybe more because of the framing. So that's our haul today. I think we did... We did all right for $160 Canadian. All the prices that I quoted you are in American prices. So after all is said and done, I spent $160 Canadian and I could potentially make $1,860 American. So that's not a bad return at all for a day spent at our first auction.